Yoga Lunatic Maniac. Dear old Billy Red Tits, uh, did you happen to catch the latest episodes of HBO's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel? Uh, no, I didn't. I normally don't watch on a regular basis, but felt compelled to check it out after hearing about this yoga guy on the Howard Stern Show. Apparently, this nut job is the founder slash creator of Bikram Yoga, named after himself, which is done all over the world and seems like it's got a crazy cult following. Basically, people travel all over the world and spend over $10,000 to take his classes because they believe he is some sort of spiritual leader. Now allegations are coming out against him that he's sexually abused a bunch of his students and made all sorts of derogatory remarks. People cannot handle positions of power. You know? You can't have this guy, everybody listening to what he's saying and a bunch of people bending over in front of him. He's going to take his dick out. I mean, how did you not see that coming? Anyways... He told Andrea Kramer, who conducted the interview, uh, why would I have to harass women? Uh, People spend $1 million for a drop of my sperm. He said that? Holy shit. That's some of the greatest shit talk ever. If that's fucking true. (laughs) What did she say? He said, why would I have to harass women? People spend $1 million for a drop of my sperm. Oh, my God. Did he fucking drop his lapel mic and walk off the set? And when asked about whether he harassed a particular woman, he said, of course not. I would never even piss on her face. She's a psychopath. This is a yoga instructor? This guy sounds like an assistant coach. He also said, it sounds like a gym teacher. He also said he's a million times smarter than any doctor and that every doctor in the world comes to him. Yeah, this guy sounds like Donald Trump if he fucking ran a yoga class. Donald Trump's got to put this guy on his ticket. I, I grab the pussies, he pisses in their face. Trump, Bikram, 2017. Uh, this guy seems like he's a little out of his tree. Uh, just wanted to hear what old Freckles has to say about this. I posted some links to the story slash video below. Um, oh, it's on the Huffington Post. I, I, I don't go to that website. Those guys are, I don't know, they're fucking weird, man. They always act like they're this really, like, big, like, like, credible news source. And then if you just look at the shit they have, you know, top ten fucking celebrity nose jobs in the corner. Um, thanks and go fuck yourself. I'll look for those links. I'm not going to that website, though. Um, Jesus Christ, what a fucking lunatic. I got to see that, man. Great interview, huh? As far as like, you know, he's going to give you the quotes. And as much as people at, at Brian Gumbel's Real Sports were appalled, they were, they were secretly high-fiving each other for the fucking ratings that that was going to get. He said, well, he, what, I got to go back. What the fuck? These, why do I have to harass women? People spend $1 million for a drop of my sperm. Yeah, that's what happens when people fly around the fucking world to come to your yoga class. People, people go crazy. They can't fucking handle it. 